so the most tragic of news. I made a video the other day. It was a nice one. The best video. The best video I've ever seen. I swear. Take my word for it. I don't know what happened, but... There is no audio. Breaks my heart. You know. I had a lot to talk about that day. It's tragic. The most horrifying of things to have happened. So, I guess the thing is, is that I gotta figure out like, there is some topics that, like, in that video that I wanted to, you know, talk about. I just have to try to remember what they are now. I just know that they were muy importante. Very important. Super important. Of the utmost importance. Uh... But yeah, uh, it was bound to happen. It happens to everyone. It happens to everyone, every YouTuber. It happens at least once, if not twice, or three times, or 27 times. Uh, who knows? So, um, I know one of the things that I was wondering. Is my videos that I make. Like obviously. This is going to range. You know. Or depend on. You know. The individual viewer. But sometimes I wonder. Do I talk too much? Do I just. Or should I. You know. Just let the bike do the talking. I don't know. That, that's one of the things that I've been kind of wondering about. You know, like, should I do more videos of just riding while you all get, like, the scenic views, the sound of the bike, you know, just that raw audio of just banging gears and, you know, stuff like that. Or, do I just keep going on with what I do, you know, talking? Vibing. I don't know. I know that was one thing that I was kind of wondering about. Um, it's tragic. I really can't remember. And I, I, I think I had like it's probably like 45 minutes worth of footage. You know, that unfortunately I would have had to cut down to maybe 20 minutes, which wouldn't have been that hard, I guess. You do get the missed the scenic views, me riding around with my buddy in his Miata. You know, he was following me in his ND as we were just ripping down the roads and all that good stuff. But you know what's weird is that. The two other days that I like made a video after this incident, which you know, I was like the two videos that I made. I just they weren't really gonna be like actual, you know, like stuff I was gonna put on YouTube. But the audio worked perfectly fine. So it's really weird. I don't know what glitched or what not for it to have done that. Uh, it's supposed to be a nice day today, but if you're looking at this weather, I promise it's not the camera's all jacked up. It is just foggy. It's, uh, I don't know. It's supposed to be like 85 degrees today. It's gonna be brutal, so. I'm toughing it out. I'm one of the few. Uh, so, uh... Yeah, 
yeah, the whole talking bit and, you know, like, you know, the stuff that I got going on where I'm doing road trips and stuff. So, like, I don't know, like, I guess it don't matter for road trips because I attempted to do a video, never posted it, when I was driving from Maryland to um, New Mexico. It, it was cool, you know, but the problem is, is that when I'm doing, like, a road trip like that, or drive, I'm not always stopping and looking at interesting things. Like, yeah, I do sometimes. But, uh, I don't know, I guess it's just... Once again, that's kind of like that weird niche market of like, you know, like, like, who really cares just for me to do random check-ins as I'm driving across the country? I don't know. Uh, just the most random of thoughts. Side note, I guess. I've been definitely seeing a lot of people ride recently. Which has been cool. You know, I'm glad that it is now riding season. People are out there getting it. was thinking about like because I might try to do another ride with my buddy which I I'm gonna attempt to try to get that posted um where me and him go out for a ride you know my KTM his Ducati um yeah I'll work on trying to get that uploaded I guess and, um, unfortunately, not, that's going to be one of those where I do a little bit of talking, not much, and then mostly just kind of cruising around, which, uh, it might not have a whole lot of audience retention on that one, but, you win some, you lose some, I guess. Uh, you win some, you lose some. Oh, interesting thing, which I could make a video of this, even though I haven't, because there's been a lot of trial and error, mostly error, with some trials. I've uh, been trying to learn how to wheelie a little bit, and I've been doing it with my, uh, with my four-wheeler. hasn't been the easiest to do with that four-wheeler because it's pretty like low-powered the whole nine which eh, isn't a big deal because I decided finally to just change out a sprocket yes I am attempting to do sprocket changes again this time I I'm gonna attempt attempt to not blow it up so it had a um, a 14 front uh, 45 rear so it comes out to like roughly 3.23 roughly uh, gear ratio which on a low horsepower four-wheeler eh, it's not the best so I decided to drop it down to a 13 in the front which gives me closer to I think it's like a 3.46 it definitely, and I tried just a couple wheelies actually this morning, because I, I did all this this morning, you know, and, um, 
yeah it livened it up like it actually made it a lot easier to get the front end up and you know like to maintain it which yeah that, that's pretty cool honestly you know like practicing on a four wheel is so much safer when you think about it because like all you got to do is balance you know front and back not really side to side that much you know um i'm still not quite sold on doing it for uh here i'm gonna wipe the camera just in case because god only knows how bad it's getting because i know my my face is covered um Oh yeah, look at that. All I had to do was just turn my head and it just kind of like cleaned my windshield. It's almost like a wiper blade. Um, so where was I going with this? Um, where was I going? Uh, yeah, I'm still not sure if I really want to do wheelies on a motorcycle just because it's expensive and it hurts when you fall. And yes, I mean expensive for your body, not even just the bike. <laughs> Ask me how I know. Man. Whew. Good thing I had a lawyer. Those medical bills would have sunk me. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, uh, going on, going on, going on. Um, yeah, so I've been practicing that, getting it up, doing stuff like that. It's been pretty fun, you know, trying to learn, but man, them city boys, you know, them them ones down like Baltimore and probably every other major city across the country and stuff, you know, like the 12 o'clock boys, man, they make it look easy. And I, it is not easy. It is not easy in the slightest. Oh, like, you know, probably most of them dirt bikes and stuff are stolen, so, you know, they don't care if it breaks or whatnot, but, you know, it's one of them things. It's one of them things. Oh, and, uh, my O2 Delete should hopefully be here tomorrow, which I'll get that put in, and, uh, we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. Um, yeah. So, that was my quick little update to you all. Um, oh, that's what I wanted to talk about. Damn it. Um, you know, I don't want to like, you know, like where it's like, you know, trying to get my subscribership up and stuff like that. You know, yeah, I have at the very end of the video where it's like, oh, subscribe, next video, crap like that. But should I start, like, at the very beginning of my videos, but like, you know, hey, you know, pay like my YouTube channel, whatever, you know, like and subscribe at the very beginning? Like, or should I just leave it at the end and if people want to subscribe, cool, if they don't, well, yeah. Um, also intro or no intro you know like where i have like me wiping out with my little pit bike should i leave that update it or just get rid of it completely so yeah uh definitely let me know in the comments about that especially if you know to the loyal people that make it to this part of the video i appreciate it greatly uh so please let me know so i can try to you know, make cha make the changes to where, you know, you all will hopefully enjoy the videos even more. So, yeah. Uh, appreciate it. Um, yeah. Peace. <laughs>